In the age of subscription-based media, Microsoft enters the market with their very own subscription service. Enjoy multiple selections of popular titles for your PC, all for the price of one. Currently in its beta phase and only available in selected regions, What's Up Play presents the 25 of the best games for you to try on the Xbox Game Pass so far, all arranged by PlayScore. Opening the list at number 25, we have the Red Strings Club. An exercise in morality in a twisted cyberpunk society, the Red Strings Club is a point-and-click adventure where you play as a bartender tending to sophisticated and odd customers. Experiment with various cocktails to learn more about their personality and uncover the deeper mysteries of its world. Although short, what makes this indie title memorable is its take on relevant social issues despite happening in the far future. Making tough decisions and questioning the meaning of life is the Red Strings Club's lasting appeal. It receives a play score of 8.46. Number 24, The Last Door, Season 2, Collector's Edition. The second installment of the Game Kitchen's Lovecraftian point-and-click adventure, Season 2 not only opened new doors to its seemingly terrifying world, it also introduced a whole new breed of madness worthy of Lovecraft and Alan Poe's influence. This Collector's Edition features four full episodes with extra content for players willing to learn more about its mythos. But of course, if you want to get a dose of this indie title, it's advisable you play the first season prior. Sadly, it's not available on the Game Pass. It receives a play score of 8.47. Number 23, Yoku's Island Express. Villa Gorilla's action platformer is a union of unlikely genres. Set in a sprawling 2D open world, Yoku takes you on a Metroidvania tour of ancient caverns in, get this, pinball fashion. Bouncing players around from one end to the next, it's a unique adventure experience that, for some reviewers, definitely enhances the genre's usually meandering pace. On top of its charming visuals and overall presentation, it also offers engaging puzzles, with each area always ripe with secrets to scour for. It has a play score of 8.51. Number 22, Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice. Before we get our hands on Senwa's next adventure, we go back to the roots of her mental health issues with this award-winning origin story. Senwa's Sacrifice mixes emotional storytelling with intense hack and slash action. It's a journey deep into Celtic Hell. Ninja Theory takes you to a mad world filled with deafening silence. Guide Senwa and watch as her damaged psyche preys on her vulnerable state. A play score of 8.57. Number 21, Samaras 3. Amanita Design's otherworldly exploration game puts you into the tiny shoes of a curious space gnome in search for answers. It's not the kind of indie game that wows you with its addicting combat. What makes Samaras engaging is its impressive visuals. Travel across the cosmos with your magical flute and visit nine unique alien worlds to discover. Each has its own set of surprises, accompanied by an entrancing sound and music design. It's the kind of game you should play on a lonely weekend and feel every minute of its atmosphere. It has a play score of 8.60. Number 20, Infinifactory. We've seen enough of 3D-based sandbox games lately, but this 2015 gem was something special in the realm of puzzles. If you love Space Camp, then this is its somewhat 3D makeover. To appease your alien overlords, build working factories that can assemble products. It sounds easy on paper, but its almost realistic technical and engineering mechanics can really push your brain to its limits. A play score of 8.60. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Number 19. Frostpunk. Winter has arrived in this chilling city-building survival game from 11-Bit Studios. The world is engulfed by ice, and it's up to the player to save humanity from the biting frost. Manage your remaining survivors and befriend heat to your advantage. Use a variety of steam-based machines to keep your civilization warm and make it through the day. Make difficult choices that keep your humans well-fed and composed. After choosing the path of order, you will get access to a whole new decision tree with more tools to tackle the harsh conditions. Different buildings, different abilities, 
assign laws that might boost or break your people's morale, but it's all for the greater good. It's another fascinating entry from 11-bit, and as a part of the Xbox Game Pass, this one is a steal. It has a play score of 8.62. Number 18, Ape Out. Devolver is back, with more ridiculous titles for the PC. This intense, wild, and colorful smash em up is all about an ape trying to make his way out of his miserable confinement. Go full ape mode as you toss prison guards and your captors to their doom. It's putting primal power on a whole new perspective. It even includes a dynamic soundtrack to help you groove out as you go on a brutal rampage in its procedurally generated levels. It has a play score of 8.65. Number 17, Gears of War 4. Its latest entry may not be the best of the Gears series, but before that, there was the legendary Gears of War 4. Considered as the king of cover shooters, this fourth title goes back to its roots. Marcus Phoenix makes a return to the fray 25 years after the events of the original trilogy. Now aged and wise, he takes the role of mentor to his son as they fight against a new threat. There's more destruction as you face off against the unknown creatures with the usual squad JD, Kate, and Del. Relive the amazing moments once more. It has a play score of 8.67. Number 16, Ori and the Blind Forest, Definitive Edition. Of course, who couldn't forget about Microsoft's beloved forest spirit? Take control of the adorable guardian tree spirit, Ori, as he carries out his duty to save the magical forest from the growing darkness. With one of gaming's most fluid platforming controls, his journey around the ethereal foliage is one that reminds us of the joys of the classic Metroidvanias. Backed with carefully crafted visuals and symphonic soundtracks, Ori and the Blind Forest is a worthy entry to the Xbox Game Pass long list of great titles. A play score of 8.68. Number 15, Valkyria Chronicles. There's not a lot of JRPGs that offer a refreshing realism. What this 2008 PlayStation 3 classic depicts the thrills and tragedies of war in JRPG fashion. Put your tactical wits to the test with the game's unique Blitz combat system, where you move your characters in the battlefield real-time, but with a turn-based twist. While the action of its hybrid gameplay is already a strong selling point, Valkyria Chronicles really drives it home with a gripping narrative told in their gorgeous art style. It has a play score of 8.71. Number 14, Unavowed. This point-and-click indie adventure from Wadget Eye Games is rich with story and ripping with mystery. Set in New York, lift a demonic curse that turns you into a bloodthirsty monster by joining an underground cult called the Unavowed. Choose from either a male or female protagonist and make your choices matter. As a character living in isolation, prevent as much damage as possible. The game has branching storylines, so every playthrough is different. A play score of 8.76. Who the hell are you? I suspect you already know. Trinity. Number 13, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Lara's second adventure after her fresh reboot back in 2013 takes her to the frozen tundra of Siberia in search for the secrets of immortality. I led them to it, Jonah. The divine source is real. We've got to find it first. Siberia it is then. Rise of the Tomb Raider is a huge leap in comparison to the first game. In this sequel, Lara is more than just a survival expert and is now a hardened killer. Her combination of new abilities, both deadly and crafty, makes her a force to be reckoned with. Bask in the game's astounding visuals and definitely one of the best world designs in a video game ever. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 12, Fez. There's no shortage of indie titles on the Xbox Game Pass. Fez, unlike the other platformers, is unique. It's a game that puts you right smack in the fabric of space and time. Dip your toes in this unnatural adventure and survive the seemingly absurd trips between the realms of the second and third dimension. Play as the Fez-wearing protagonist and use this newly acquired ability to make sense of the disorienting world he finds himself in. It's a game that challenges your perspective. 
Switch between dimensions with a press of a button and discover the hidden trails beneath the planar puzzles. A platformer with an intelligent and flawlessly executed premise, a play score of 8.79. This is my kind of Number 11, Gears 5. Yes! You remember me? Now's the fun part, bitch! This latest Gears entry centers around a new yet familiar protagonist. Five revolves around Kate in a quest about finding her mother. Can we watch each other's backs? Like always. Aside from Gears iconic cover shooting experience, this title will have the most expansive world in the series has ever seen, with more freedom and customization options. It may not be the strongest in terms of its story, but it's still a great game for longtime fans of the series, especially when it's just around the Xbox Game Pass. A play score of 8.80. Number 10, FTL, Faster Than Light. Ever wanted to fly a spaceship? Subset Games' iconic real-time strategy game is a sci-fi wonder. Simulate your own flying spacecraft in an attempt to save the galaxy. There are many unique scenarios with multiple creative solutions with each playthrough, so you never get bored playing with your virtual galactic flying machine. With its availability on the Xbox Game Pass, you can now spend hours upon hours of your time experimenting with its numerous possibilities. A play score of 8.80. Number 9, The Messenger. Ninja Gaiden meets Back to the Future lets you play as a skilled ninja and you slice and dice your way through enemies all around time itself. Set in a cursed world, deliver a scroll to secure the survival of your clan. Ominous as it may be, the game doesn't take itself too seriously at all. What makes this game great is its surprising amount of witty humor. Powered by trippy pixel art style, jump, slide, and run your way through various locations. Defeat bosses, villains, and other associates that try and stop you on your path. Don't forget to deliver the message. It receives a play score of 8.87. Oh, yeah. Number 8, Broforce. If you are familiar with the good old days of Metal Slug and Contra, this is a worthy substitute for some explosive good fun. Follow a group of underfunded yet overpowered military people and blow things up sky high. Oh, they, they're like semi-homing bullets or something. They like curve. Oh, they bounce. That's what they do. Filled with destructible objects, hardcore weapons, and multiplayer mode to satiate your anarchic desires, this game is good with friends. Oh, man. I'm down. You keep going. It has a play score of 8.87. Number 7, Downwell. An indie game where all you have to do is go down, down, and down. Armed with your trusty gun boots, lead your character as he descends deep into a procedurally generated abyss filled with monsters and traps. Upgrade your character's flashy boots or choose from a selection of power-ups that makes the fall better and the scores higher. There's enough replay value here and it receives a play score of 8.90. Number 6, West of Loathing. The Wild West is full of danger, but that's certainly not the West of Loathing's intentions. Ride on towards the frontier and no matter what you do, you won't be prepared for its surprising amount of ridiculous antics. <laughs> I'm having a good time! <laughs> what the hell? This is so good! <laughs> You'll miss meals with the fans! This western comedy slash RPG adventure takes you to the black and white deserts. Encounter a memorable cast of characters both good, bad, and sometimes ugly. A play score of 8.90. Number 5, Opus Magnum. From the studio known for its engineering puzzles, Zaktronic's Opus Magnum is its own kind of masterpiece. It's one of those puzzle games that starts simple, but introduces various mechanics that make everything complex. Next, we're going to want to pick up this water molecule using arm 2 
and we're going to want to move it one step upwards. And hopefully this works and it does. And you can see when these two connect on that bonder, it creates a bond between them, which is what we need to complete the puzzle. Putting a fun twist on programming, create potions galore using their unique transmutation contraption. For anyone with an appetite for puzzles and rich storylines, it has a play score of 8.93. Number 4, Into the Breach. Subset games follow up to their successful Faster Than Light. Into the Breach brings you to a not-so-near future of endless warfare and colossal mechs. This turn-based roguelike indie game is simple, but underneath its mechanical layers lies a challenging adventure. Travel back through time and help the remnants of human civilization against giant alien threats. It receives a play score of 8.96. Number 3, Hotline Miami. Who would have thought that we could play Devolver's most popular title on Microsoft's massive selection of games? Fulfill your mission and face your demons in 1989 Miami. Go on a psychedelic killing spree accompanied by a sweet soundtrack in this top-down action game. Don your animal masks as you go on a beautiful rampage with broken bones, decapitated heads, and multiple stab wounds. It's one experience you wouldn't forget, and it has a play score of 9.05. Number 2, Hollow Knight. Team Cherry's Souls-like Metroidvania adventure won our hearts since its release. Brave the dark and bug-infested caverns as a young knight and uncover the mysteries of this lost kingdom. Wield magical powers and use your trusty nail sword to defeat challenging bosses. It rekindles the classic Metroidvania flame where difficulty meets challenge. A play score of 9.07. And at number 1. We have Undertale. Determination is what kept this game's shine. Hailed as one of our best PC games of the last decade, this Alice in Wonderland-like adventure takes you to the shoes of a young kid trapped in a strange underground world where monsters are either your friend or your foes. Its unconventional RPG mechanics grants you choices to either spare or kill a character, with both having an effect on the game's ending. I wonder if we should try to attack him, because we're blue now, so are we like different? Oh, no. beauty yogurt. Color would change it? Let I me don't try. Know. Let me see if this will do. Oh, we missed. The king uh, will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Supported by a lovable cast of characters and a fantastic soundtrack, Undertale is a recommended game for players who want to join in the Xbox Game Pass experience. A play score of 9.30.